Hey everyone, in this video we will make a looping sparkle effect where the sparkles are rising up forever in a loop. So this effect is often seen in games where a character is charging for a magic spell or some kind of attack. Uh, the way we're going to do it here is using geometry nodes. So Let's get started first. I'm going to hide this and start from scratch. First, to make our geometry, uh, we have to add in a plane. So let's add in a plane. And then we can go straight to our geometry nodes tab. Add in a new geometry nodes. And we can start. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is determine the area of where our points are going to be distributed. So I'm going to use a mesh circle. And then see plug the mesh circle into our output geometry and we'll see our circle. And then we want to have our fill type as end gone. So we have points in the middle. Right now if it's empty then there's going to be no points. So then to order to make our points, let's go to points and distribute points on faces at this here, and then we're going to see the points are randomly distributed along the faces of these circle. But you increase the radius, you can kind of see it is in a circle and it's randomly distributed across inside the circle. In the density, you can you know, change how much points you want. And let's leave it like that for now. And then the next thing we're going to do is we want to move uh, the points up and down. So to do that, we are going to add in a set position node right after the GB points on faces. And we're going to need to use the position as the position. So we're going to add in a vector mass node to add the position of its position and select put it into position. That way when you Increase this, it will increase. So we just want the z value because you want it to go up and down. Like this. Well, we want um, all the points to be randomly um, going up, not all at the same time. Right now it's all at the same time. So in order to do that, we just have to separate this and just take put a random value. So we're going to and combine x, y, z, plug it into this vector. We're only going to use the z value. And then we're going to put in a random value. To the z value. Now all the points are in some random number. In 0 and 1. We're going to increase this. Let's just increase this to here. Now they're all some random z value now, all the points. And now we want to control the movement of this. So in between the random and the combined, we're going to add in a math node and just put in it as an add. So that way when you add this, increase this, you move the z value as a whole. Now, if you just, as of now, it doesn't loop. It just keeps going up in the z direction or down in the negative z direction. We want it to loop, so we have to add in between after the add a fraction to 
uh, make it loop. So we're going to have to add in a combined XYZ here to the Z value and then separate XYZ. So we have to plug these two in because we don't want to change these values. We want to keep them the same. But we have for a Z value, you want to add in a math node that's a fraction. And you just plug this into the middle. And if you have this, and you add, it will just keep going up. And then once it reaches a certain point, it will just come back down and be in a loop. But right now, this is kind of going too fast. We can slow it down by adding another math node after this. Uh, sending it to multiply and just multiplying by a really small number. Give it 0 0.05. That way when you move the add, not that fast. Point five. Yes, I'll have it. And then we can animate this by using a driver hashtag frame I'll divided by forty eight. That's too slow. Or a little better so that's it for the points and then we have this so far so now we just need to actually change the height of this right now it's only this tall we can't it just loops right when it stops here in order to increase change that we're gonna have to after the separation node I'm going to add in a transform node and scale the Z look Z scale to a little bit higher right around there. Then when you press play, it's a loop up until it stops here. All right, so now that's the basic part for distributing the points. Right now, the points are nothing right now, it's just empty. So, right now, you can see it only because we selected it. So, we need to put in the points. So, we're going to add in an object. So, I have a sparkle object here. We unhide it. This is a plane, that's a sparkle. And let me show you what the shader is for this. I'm going to split this and make it a shader editor. So you can see what how I made this, how this is made. You have an absolute connected to the vector of the separate XYZ, and we're just separating it X and the Y, putting it through a power. So we have the absolute of power of the x value, this is the y value. Then we're adding those two together. Which makes this cross and then we have less than to just have it uh only show the white part that's not uh transparent. And I just said for a transparent BNTF and mixed shader and increase the emission. So that's the object that we have. And let's go to our plane. So, in order to have this, uh, this has to be this back here so it's transparent. 
All right, there we go. Let's go back here. And we want uh, this to be used as an instance. So we're going to, after transform, we're going to add in a uh, instance on points. The points is going to be our distributed points. And then the instance is going to be our object, Sparkle object. So we're going to input the object info. And then let's just choose our Sparkle and put in the geometry as the points. Right, so now all the sparkles are in the points that we saw before. But they're all flat because we, there's no rotation on this. So I mean, like, you can rotate here. But uh, it's, uh, and it's all the same size too. So we want to randomize the rotation and the scale for each instance. So in order to do that, we're going to first, let's do the rotation. We're going to need to add in a vector rotate node and plug this into rotation. Then we're going to use a random value again to randomize rotations. Set this one to vector and plug it into the vector. Now every work has a different uh, rotation value and change these so the mass is a little bit higher, maybe this is good. So each instance is rotated randomly. And then we need to, we can also randomize the angle Because so when we uh, rotate it, we want it also to be spinning, not just unless you want it to just be statically just floating up. But you can also make it spin here. We also want to randomize this too. And we just have to add in a random value in the angle. Then a maximum random value randomly. We get this and then we can put in a add node add math node and animate this while it's going up using a driver so we're going to hashtag frame 348 make it slow Let's see how it is all right that looks okay we have so far so now the next problem is that they're all the same size we want them to be some small some big so in order that we just randomize the scale in order to do that let me just all we have to do is put in a random value for the scale and just plug this in the scale so now we now we see that between zero and one the you know, for each instance between zero and one for each sparkle you can and then you can make it bigger if you want i think smaller for our case is a little better between zero and 0.5 all right then the scale is we don't have to add in any driver to enemy scale you can, this is okay. All right, so now we have basically almost the entire effect. One last thing that we can do with this is to make some, put some noise into the sparkles as they move up. Because right now it's just moving up in a straight line while rotating. So in order to do that, we can use a noise texture for the offset. Let's add in a noise texture. And plug, oops, uh, plug this into the offset. 
Okay, so right when you plug this in, you'll notice that it just shifted up to the right, I mean up. We want this back to center, so we have to correct this by adding a vector mass here and then subtracting 0.5 from each vector to bring it back into the middle. And then what this does is that when it's when it's moving up the noise you can change it so it this will make it move left and right. Right, so we have to put this to 40 so we can get the seed. Then we can have a frame driver here or let's put this at 100. All right, so now it does a little bit, but it's still, it's moving the whole, it's spark with moving. Has some noise movement to it. Very subtle, but if you make it too high, then it doesn't look that good. Yeah, it looks like this if you make it too high. Too much noise. A little bit is good. I'm going to put it at one. One is good. All right, then that's the whole effect. We can also hide this. We don't need this anymore. All right, that's the whole effect. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.